Illinois faces some big challenges. Today, you're about to hear a truly honest analysis of the problems we face. Equally important, you'll also hear an in-depth discussion of some practical solutions. This is your radio source for stories, the insight, and the answers you won't hear anywhere else. Not on the media, and not coming from Springfield. You're listening to Illinois Rising, presented by the Illinois Opportunity Project. Now, here's your host, AM 560's Dan Proft. Welcome to another edition of Illinois Rising. Dan Proft, co-host of Chicago's Morning Answer, AM 560, weekdays 5 to 9 a.m. with Amy Jacobson. And joining me is Pat Hughes, the co-founder of Illinois Opportunity Project. And as we are nearing the end of the filing deadline for... uh, candidates for state and federal office in Illinois. Uh, It looks like uh, Governor Rauner is going to have a primary challenge, that primary challenge coming from uh, State Representative Jeannie Ives, Republican from Wheaton, who we spoke with on last week's Illinois Rising. And uh, again, just to remind people, because it's it's changed a couple uh, cycles ago, that uh, to run for governor, you need to have a running mate. Uh, you no longer have lieutenant governors run independently of uh, the gubernatorial candidates. They they run as teams. So uh, perhaps um, some people outside the Quad Cities aren't familiar with our guest, Rich Morthland, who is a former state representative from uh, that region, the Quad Cities. Uh, but he has uh, been selected and agreed to run with Jeannie Ives as her running mate. And uh, people should probably get to know Rich a little bit more around the state. And so... We invited Rich Morthland on the show, and he was kind enough to join us. Rich, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Dan, thank you so much for having me on the program today. I really appreciate the the great work you do through this program. I catch it whenever I can. So you've got an interesting background. That's got you know these to, the teams are supposed to be uh, kind of the sum greater uh, or the whole greater than the sum of the parts, and it seems like that may be the case with you. And Ives, where Jeannie is West Point, and she's a suburban legislator, Mama Five, and all that. You're uh, a farmer. You're a educator. You had a term in the Illinois General Assembly. Uh, your wife also an educator, um, but come from a different region of the state, different professional background. And uh, why did you decide to kind of uh, put chocolate and peanut butter together here and uh, try and uh, make a Reese's? Well, <laughs> that's a great question and a good analogy, but I have to say I can't really take any credit for that because it was, again, the wisdom of Representative Ives to look for a fully well-balanced, true Illinois representative team uh, that she came and sought me out as, as her running mate, a very honored, and you're absolutely correct. We do together uh, reflect a whole lot better the balance that is Illinois. Obviously, I'm a farm guy. I'm also somebody who is in higher education at the community college level. But, you know, it's a really great opportunity that she has put this together. And also, too, I, again, am not from Cook nor the Cowlers. I, I look out my window every day and I see Iowa because I'm five miles from the Mississippi River. And so I'm a guy who has those balancing factors in my life to expand the value of this team. Rich, obviously, um, you know, you guys are running against uh, Governor Rahner and Evelyn Sanguinetti. And, uh, you know, running against an incumbent governor is a, in your own party is a, uh, obviously a big task. What is it about the ives Morthland ticket uh, that differentiates you from the Rahner Sanguinetti ticket? Obviously, um, you want to let the voters know that you're a better choice to Jeannie's a better choice to lead this state. Take us through some of the main reasons why you think the voters should vote for you guys instead of the other ticket. Thanks for the question, Pat. Often people try to focus and pigeonhole us into social issues and that agenda. But the fact of the matter is that as, as, as dastardly as some of the things that the governor has done in office on social issues are, and Jeannie and I are both very pro-life and, and definitely don't want to have some of the things that are going on. He's even more of a train wreck. And when we talk about policy in, in the state, for instance, is fresh news today, issuing uh, bonds for capital projects around the state that have a huge history of being nothing but pork barrel 
give backs to crony to crony friends and illinois has done that so many times and look who's doing it again our current governor uh you know just you mentioned before your uh you, you know, kind of can see Iowa from your front porch kind of thing. Um, what Residents of your region, Quad Cities, what are they saying about the, the future of Illinois if, if there's not a, a change in leadership and direction and right quick? Well, absolutely, Dan. What they're saying out where I am is that the governor ran on really great policies, and he, he sold us himself. But he also sold us a bill of goods because he has not governed in keeping in keeping with the promises he made in his initial campaign. So I've mentioned this more than once, that the fact of the matter is he ran a great campaign, made some awesome promises. And Jeannie Ives is going to go into that office and actually keep his sound policy promises for him. And absolutely you know, we're looking at we're looking at a situation where the out migration from the state of Illinois has been just absolutely dreadful for a very long time. Now, I'm personally anchored to our family farm and, and we actually own it. My wife and I live out there and work out there. But so many people are voting with their feet and they're leaving the state of Illinois. And you do that over pocketbook issues. And that's where we need to change the policy of the state. We need to govern as he promised. So, so Rich, obviously, you know, we've all known each other for a long time, and Dan and I have been supportive of you, and we've all long been friends and, and on the same side of political issues. And I know that you don't take any of these types of efforts, whether it was running for state rep, whether it be running for lieutenant governor, lightly, that there'd have to be a, a reason and there have to be a basis. And, and so I'm curious as to what is it about Jeannie Ives specifically for you that makes you compelled to want to go on this journey and run with her. It's a big task. Obviously, it's a big state. What, what is it about Jeannie that, that influences you or inspires you to want to be by her side while she tries to turn the state around? Great question, Pat. I, it's pretty much everything. Jeannie Ives is a complete package of leadership for the state of Illinois. She, you know, she is, she's West Point. She's married to West Point. She's birthed West Point. They, she, she comes out of that leadership, and she's continued being a leader in her community, and she's a leader in Springfield, where she is, where she is sponsoring really solid legislation. I, I, when the first day I met her, I said, I, I looked up your bills, and they are all very technical, and they are all obviously things in the code that need to be cleaned up. And to be perfectly frank, I don't even understand them when I read them because they're so intricate and, and forceful in changing in changing Illinois policy for the better. And she said, yeah, you're right. That's exactly what I do. Thank you for figuring it out. And so she is somebody who gets into the nuts and the bolts of Illinois government and is working to fix them. That's what she's been doing in Springfield now for several years. That's what she wants to do from the top position in Springfield. She wants to continue to fix Illinois' problems, and that's what we need. And so, the, you know, the combination of your uh, diverse background, I just mentioned farmer, college educator, uh, as well as a former state legislator. Uh, what is it that, uh, you know, you and Jeannie... Uh, want to accomplish together where your skills, diverse set of skills, will be uh, put to best use, do you think? Well, obviously, Jeannie has, has brought me onto the ticket because agriculture, even though it has many, many weaknesses, is still the, the heartbeat of Illinois. You know, I am, I'm at our East Campus today near Galva, Illinois, but most of the time I'm over at our Moline Campus, which sits next door, by not by accident, to the world headquarters of John Deere, Deere & Company. And obviously a major manufacturer that helps drive not only our Quad City economy, but ap- actually, obviously, helps feed the world. And so we care very deeply about issues facing agriculture, farming, the technology that is advancing in our field is just amazing, but we have to do it because we have a hungry world to feed. And so Jeannie understands the importance of that basic industry and all its dimensions in the state of Illinois, and she's willing to work to improve the, the opportunities for Illinois agricultural producers and also those support industries that keep us going so rich once you uh, uh now that you're you know officially running what's what's on the agenda for the next couple of months where are you going to be campaigning how are you ca- going to be campaigning 
Uh, take us through a little bit of that and, and your enthusiasm for it. Well, I'm going to be campaigning everywhere they'll open a door and let me in. I'm already putting all sorts of miles driving around the state. Obviously, my particular role is to do the whole downstate. Even though I live laterally to the city of Chicago, I am still a downstater. And so we're going to be putting miles and miles and miles on our cars. One of the things that I'm really excited about is that the week before the actual primary occurs, uh, I actually have spring break. And so we've already promised that every member of our family is going to be traveling independently all over the state campaigning because that's what we need to do. And I I, I tell you, there is such receptive audience for this message, because the fact of the matter is that Republicans are people of principle. And it's fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you. And sadly, the current administration has fooled us twice more than twice and it just keeps coming and it just keeps getting worse and we have to stop the bleeding of policy in the state of illinois because if we don't we're not going to stop the bleeding of population in the state of illinois he is former state representative college professor farmer rich morthland he's now genie ives's running mate in a primary challenge uh to the ticket of Ronner and sanguinetti the republican primary for governor rich thanks so much for joining us good luck thanks for having me gentlemen